could me uh, could you tell me uh, which is the last news the Jamaica al WTTC oh well Jamaica um, has recovered and um, I think our recovery is 90 percent um, of 2019 in terms of visitor arrivals but we're 120 percent recovery on 2019 for revenue and that's very important because Jamaica on recovery has gained a higher level of average daily rates than any other country in the Caribbean and that's a big statement because what it does is to say that our recovery has been recognized by the global community as being one that offer a safe, secure and seamless uh, vacation and that's why they come. Um, South America is a big player for us, Argentina ah. is leading the way, in fact, the largest flow of visitors to Jamaica from South America now are from Argentina. Um, LATAM, we're getting back that um, connectivity, but we do have COPA that now um, travels uh, in that area. And we're making connectivities uh, also through Arajet, which is a new airline that's coming to us from the Dominican Republic yeah. with back-end connections into South America. So slowly we're bringing back the South America market and we're excited about that. But the U.S. is very strong for us and so is the United Kingdom and Canada and uh, Europe. Now I'm here in the Middle East because we want to bring this new market into the Caribbean. And I'm here also with a number of Caribbean ministers who want to have engagement with the large airlines in this area and also with the tourism authorities in the Middle Eastern countries, particularly here in Saudi Arabia. So as to create a new market area to mitigate against the possibilities of recession and inflation and all the other uh, financial disruptions that we hear ah, are likely okay, to happen. Okay. okay. Uh, what the importance uh, the um, uh, industry uh, travel in the economy the Jamaica? Right. So tourism and travel represents some 10 percent of the uh, GDP of Jamaica up to 2019. Now I think that because the recovery has been driven so much by tourism. Uh, it, the new analysis will show that tourism has a stronger direct impact on the economy. But the indirect impact is some uh, 30%. So the truth is that one in five of all the jobs in Jamaica are driven by tourism. Okay, okay. Congratulations. The Reggae San Fete in Montego Bay. Uh, yeah, beautiful. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> and I look forward to seeing you at the next Reggae Sun Fest in 2023. Come on down to Montego Bay and bring all of us South America with you. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you.